Recently, Reserve Bank of India has come out with a circular where they have banned this LCs and LOUs. It means for enhancement of the state credit financing, there has to be a mutual trust and mutual instrument has to be there in place which act as a trust instrument between the buyer and the seller. Since this LCs and LOUs has been banned, so therefore the check become an important instrument to create that trust between the buyer and the seller. But in India with this check bouncing cases, there are approximately around 2.5 crore check bouncing cases which are still pending and it approximately takes around 2.5 years to settle these check bouncing cases. So PhD Chamber has organized this conference at this, at this crucial hour just to understand and to highlight this importance of this, of this section 138 where this is a check bouncing cases that how we can try and improvise this check bouncing cases timeline and what sort of recent amendment that we can bring in this negotiable instrument act so that the check as an instrument can gather the respect among the buyers and the seller and it can enhance as the trade enhancement mechanism as on date.